morning. My name is Dr. Olguin. Would you mind saying your full name and date of birth, please? Uh, Mrs. Jones, my birthday is March 19, 1985. Mrs. Jones, what brings you in today? Um, well, I've been feeling really tired lately. And, you know, I get a regular seven to eight hours of sleep a night, and I'm still tired. Um, my hair is thinning out. It's been, you know, kind of clumpy and falling out. And, you know, I've been maintaining a really healthy diet. I work out a lot, but my weight's been fluctuating, and I keep gaining weight. Okay. Well, thank you for sharing this information with me. Um, I'd like to perform a standard assessment on you. Would that be okay? Okay. Right. I'm going to begin with uh, just taking a look at your hands here. Nice do for a little trim. Take a look at your nails. See what you mean where uh, when you say that your nails are becoming a little bit brittle. All right. And may I take a look at your scalp? Beautiful hair, by the way. Oh, thanks. I don't see any abnormal lesions. Um, I do notice, however, you said that you. Uh, your hair is starting to thin, and I do see that a little bit. It's starting to come off on my fingers here. All right. Uh, may I check your, uh, your vital signs? Oh. I'd like to take a listen for your pulse or a feel for your pulse. You have a strong pulse. So how long have you been experiencing these symptoms? A couple months now. Okay. Yeah, your pulse is a little bit low. Right now it's currently at 52 beats per I would like to check your, uh, your blood pressure, if that's okay. Thank you very much. Your uh, blood pressure is a little low also. Right now it's currently at 110 over 75. Assess your abdomen a little bit. So I'm going to... Uh, Take a listen for any bowel sounds, and then I'll go ahead and palpate around and uh, do a little bit of compression. Okay. I'm going to palpate a little bit here. Let me know if you feel any pain. Okay. I'm feeling a little bit of distension. And I'm not hearing uh, the normal sounds that I would expect. To. Have you been having regular bowel movements? Um, no, actually. I've been increasingly constipated. And um, I don't know if this is relevant, but my menstrual cycle hasn't been regular either. I see, okay. Uh, yes, well, thank you for sharing that information with me. Can you go ahead and uh, assess your uh, thyroid here? Is that all right? Yep. Okay. Any pain here? No. It does feel a little uh, swollen, if you will. As though your thyroid's a little enlarged. Jones, uh, for my initial assessment, um, I have reason to believe that you might be experiencing symptoms of uh, thyroid disorder. I'd like to perform a few lab tests, if that's okay, so that I can uh, provide you with a better diagnosis. All right. Okay, Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, Mrs. Jones, um, according to your lab results, I would like to diagnose uh, a form of hypothyroidism, specifically called Hashimoto's thyroiditis. What is that? And uh, hypothyroidism is essentially a condition in which your thyroid is no longer producing a sufficient amount of hormones. Um, according to your lab results, we tested your thyroid simulating hormone, and your value is at 0.1, and a normal range is between 0.5 and 6.0. T4 hormone values uh, sitting at 4.0 and the normal range between 4.6 and 1.2. Your T4 value is currently at 4.0 and a normal range is between 4.6 and 12. Your T3 hormone value is at 0.4 and a normal range is between 0.7 and 1.5. So I'd like to prescribe for you the medication level thyroxine. Also known as Synthroid, here's a pamphlet of information for you. I'd also suggest doing some research online. You're going to want to take this medication at least 30 minutes before breakfast with a full glass of water. And if you are taking any supplements such as antacids, iron, calcium, what have you, 
you'll want to take those supplements uh, at least four hours between each dose of medication. <clears throat> it may take a few weeks for the medication to begin to take effect. And uh, diarrhea, excess of sweating, fever or headache, uh, please give me a call. Let me know. Okay? Um, I'd also like to schedule an appointment uh, with you from one month from today, if that's okay. So I'm going to go ahead and talk to the secretary in the front. Uh, do you have any questions for me? Am I going to die? Eventually, <laughs> one day. <laughs> but this is uh, a pretty common. <laughs> should we, we, this is a pretty common um, condition to have. Okay. Uh, for one year age. So nothing, nothing serious to, to worry about. Okay. Okay. I appreciate you coming in today. Thank you. Okay. And we'll see you in one month, okay? Okay. All right. Hypothyroxine, also known as Synthroid, is a T4 thyroid hormone replacement medication used to treat mild hypothyroidism. Levothyroxine replaces endogenous thyroid hormone, exerting its physiological effects by controlling DNA transcription and protein synthesis. Synthroid accelerates the rate of cellular oxidation, which stimulates body tissue, growth, maturation, and metabolism. It regulates differentiation and proliferation of stem cells, regulating growth. Synthroid enhances carbohydrate and protein metabolism, increasing gluconeogenesis and protein synthesis. Adverse effects include, but are not limited to, fatigue, headache, insomnia, drowsy, both intestinal dysphagia, muscle weakness, myalgia, and weight gain. When taking Synthroid, take the medication at least 30 minutes before breakfast with a full glass of water. If you are taking any supplements, be sure to separate taking the medication and supplementation by at least four hours. Synthroid may take a few weeks to take effect. Do not stop taking levothyroxine without consulting your physician. <laughs> necessarily bad, but it's uh, not something that I'll... You can edit this, right? Yeah. Alright, Mrs. John or Johnson? Jones? <laughs> so My name is Mrs. Jones. What was your name again? My name is Mrs. Jones. <laughs> this could be a lawsuit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, hey. <laughs>